Ladies and gentlemen, this amateur bantamweight contest will be competed over three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This amateur mixed martial artist has a record of two wins, five defeats. He represents Knuckleheads MMA. Ladies and gentlemen, Diego Ramos! And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This amateur mixed martial artist has a record of two wins, four defeats. He represents King Star MMA. Ladies and gentlemen, Jacob Buckley! Our referee, Mr. Paul Crossley. Here we go. Three threes in the amateur bantamweight division. Diogo Ramos, Knuckleheads MMA, the Jacob Buckley, Kingstar MMA. Touch your gloves to start. I love watching the Knuckleheads boys fight. These guys that come over from Madeira because they can't find the competition they need elsewhere. They take on tough opponents, win, lose, or draw. They're always in a hell of a fight, and he's going to have to be with Jacob Buckley. Yeah, they fight anyone. Both guys are better than their records, so obviously. They've just fought really good competition. Oh, yeah, not a, not a can or a mug on, on any of their records. No, and they, they both develop and progress in between each fights because of it. That's that's what you want at amateur. You want that experience Absolutely. and that growth. Records are for DJs at amateur, yeah. right? It's Jacob just pushing Diogo up on the cage. The eighth appearance now for... Diogo Ramos, I believe almost all his fights have been under the UKFC banner. Yeah, and we've watched him grow and improve. They're a part of the show. They like the furniture now, the whole, the whole gym. But Buckley, again, the King Star man. Not here to make life easy at all for, for Ramos, engaging the clinch at the no, moment. Oh, yeah. Battle of underhooks, battle of head position. Buckley managed to land a couple of short knees while he was pressuring Ramos against the cage. We'll see if Ramos returns the favor. Yeah, Ramos just looking a bit of dirty boxing, Diaz, Diaz style against the cage. Southpaw v. Orthodox. Can hear Buckley's corner asking for the jab, followed by the overhand right. Oh, heavy hands, and there you go. Oh, a big oh. body shot. Yeah, he's mixing up the heights. Maybe you just watched the last fight. It was a uh, similar southpaw v. Orthodox when Dan switched up the the angles on his left hand, giving some success. What are you looking for? Foot position. Oh. Nice head kick there. Yeah, returned the favor, wanted to let Diego know you're not the only one, and they both exchange and land in, in the pocket there. Yeah, some, some nice little shoulder strike as well there. Looking for the wrist control. Maybe he's going to level change or just look to break and strike. Buckley is ke is keeping Ramos tight to him. Oh, inside foot trip. Just looking to finish finish the round strong, but again, an another close round and a and a hard one to score. Yeah, they're, this they're, this was a tight round. But wiser heads than ours have to come up with those decisions. Yeah. We can we can say what we like. If you judge who you're giving that one to, Dakota. It's a tough round, that. They both landed some heavy shots. They both had each other up against the cage, you know. It's quite an even round for me, that, but see how they both come out in this second round now. I, I feel like uh, Diogo was having more success with the boxing and Jacob was having success with his kicks. Yeah. Teeps through the middle, mixing up some high kicks. I think my question is, you know, if you're in the corner, what, what do you ask? What do you ask Diogo to do different? Yeah, you know, to, to put more of a stamp on the round. I, I'm thinking again if he can if he can use his boxing and look to land that left hand and just mix in some level changes with it. Just keep Buckley guessing. Uh, and there's the same for Buckley. Obviously, he's he's, he's being more kick orientated at the moment. 
and just mixing it in. And I think Diogo, obviously, spending that time on the cage at the end of the second round, uh, he might look for something similar. Very light on his feet, very bouncy Buckley to start the round. Yeah, looking for those kicks again, and Diogo looking to box and coming back with a body kick of his own. That's the thing that the, the backside is, uh, backside strikes are so important when you're going over Docks v Southpaw, but. Oh, a little bit of dirty boxing there from Buckley. Lovely. And Ramos forcing his man up against the cage, got the body lock. Yeah, and nice takedown there. Step got his leg on the inside and managed to bring him over the hip. But both, both guys are good on the ground. I was interested to see how they compete on the ground together. Uh, but Diogo's done well to pass that butterfly hook. Yeah, he's looking to try and pressure down now so that he can step over. But Buckley wise to it. Yeah. Works back to the... Buckley just controlling the head at the moment, just stopping him from getting in posture. But then also bringing that guard up high. Maybe threaten, get him thinking triangle or... Yeah. Threatening his submission attacks. Ramos rise to that at the moment. They're looking to try and get a little bit of Yeah, he's gone back for that butterfly hook again. Looks like he's going to try and come under the leg here. Oh, he's going to try and take the leg. No heel oh, hooks. Yeah. yeah. Amateur rule set. Good defense for a leg lock. He's punching the face. Uh, but he's looked straight to his straight ankle lock now. So he's looking. Dilga looks calm at the moment in this place. Uh, he's putting the boot on, straighten his leg. Maybe... Looking to hand fight as well, so he can't get a good connection. So what does Buckley need to do to finish this? Uh, he's got to get his hips hips in, keep that uh, the grip at the moment. I think it looks a, a bit too high on the foot at the moment. He needs to be able to slide it down lower. I can't see a bit of talking going on, but... Complaining about uh, grabbing the glove there. Yeah. He's trying, he's working for that submission, but... Yeah, yeah I feel like it's too too uh, low on the ankle at the moment just needs to to be a bit higher up but nice. the strikes and he's back on top but nice Again. roll through i mean if he still chasing it and he's using it to come on top this time and yeah. get, get the reversal smart decision that's a nice scramble from buckley there but ramos straight back up to his yeah, feet and diogo back back up again and shoulder strikes both guys just working and attacking, canceling each other out here. Another good round. Yeah, that's a tight round. Couple of little chipping knees there from Ramos. Nice. I haven't got a clue now. No, it's, it's another tough round to score. Diogo's used a few uh, shoulder strikes in that round uh, and the first one. You don't often see that, do you? No. But it's working for him today. It's... What I've been most impressed with watching Diogo and Buckley at the moment is that this has been a mixed martial arts fight. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're not relying just on hands or just on grappling. And again, we're 15 years ago, 10 years ago, these guys are murdering pros. Yeah, you know, the, the days of old school fights, striker v grappler have gone. gone. They've gone out the window now. It's mixed martial arts, it's fighting each other. I felt like maybe at the end of the first round, Diogo had Buckley on the cage. He maybe felt like he had a little bit of advantage there, so he's gone and got the takedown in the second round, yep. made those adjustments, made Buckley work off his back, who, who did attack the straight ankle lock, was looking for that butterfly hook as well. I mean, yeah, Ramos had to defend for good 40 seconds of the round gives the judges something to think about we go and you would imagine there has to be urgency from both corners like from yeah. both fighters yeah i don't think you can tell your fighter he's two rounds up after those first two rounds oh. okay. bit of hand fight going on and Again, Buckley looking to land those big kicks, but again, Diogo, shoulder strike there again. There he is again. Yeah. Oh, oh, nice little oh, oh, beautiful. Nice. Took the momentum, rolled through with it, ended up in top. Nice reversal, and again, Buckley's got that, that butterfly hook. 
So he maybe use it to sweep or attack under the leg again, or he's let go now. We might might look to because that's the thing you can you can attack off bottom, but he used it to sweep again at the end of the second round. So maybe that's the adjustment he'll make now. He's on bottom is to get a sweep and try and get top position. Mm. And of course, Ramos is now thinking, well, I've got top position. If I can chip away, consolidate this, it, it, it means it's all on Buckley to improve his position. Yeah, he's looking to wrap the net. We know the knucklehead guys as well. They, they like guillotines, front head jokes. Buckley wise to that. Like, worked his way back into the full, full guard. And... Rubber, looking to play yeah, with the rubber guard now, rubber bringing guard. it up high. And at the end of the second, he brought the guard up high. Looked like he was thinking yeah. about threatening the triangle. So I'm looking thinking back. about reaching through there and head control as well. But as it stands like this, oh, shoulder strike again there. It's, from it's still the fighter on top, right? Like surely. Yeah, you obviously they're not really both getting close to a submission attempt, attempt. But Diogo didn't really do throw any strikes from the top position. Again, it was it was uh, quite a stalemate. But again, you got to give it to the guy who's in the top position when not much is going on. Yeah, you got to be so active on the bottom yeah, now to, but again, to take he, around. Yes, he again, he's he's looking for another submission attack. Ramos. Wise to that, keep him tight to the body. Gonna... Oh, hip pump sweep. Oh, thought he was going to drop back for the triangle there. But again, awesome. uh, that's what he needs more of on top, just, just the strikes, make sure he's scoring. Under hook and cross face. What are you thinking? Are you, are you looking to pass or more ground and pound? I think Diogo needs for a few more strikes. He looks like he's got the space there, but he's uh, he's just pinning nicely at the moment. The thing when you wow. good fight again. Woo. So the judges wouldn't like to score that one. No, that's a that's a tight fight. There. Yeah, oh, b before it, it was hard to pick a winner in that one, and it ended up going that way. Both both competitive in all areas together. Brilliant well, matchup, that one. There are three wiser heads than ours, well, certainly than mine, sitting around cage side who are going to make that decision. I think both these guys gave, a, gave their all. Yeah, it was a, another good fight. It's probably one those guys could fight again and again and again, might even see see each other in, in the future. Yeah, absolutely. A great fighter, like two well matched but diff different styles and I yeah. think uh, it's going to go the judges and we'll see who wins it's what we've come to expect from U UKFC matchmaking Aaron thank you Ladies and gentlemen, before the official decision, please give both of these young athletes a huge round of applause. Great fight. After three hard fought rounds, we go to the, the, the judges' scorecards, and we have a unanimous decision. In favor of the blue corner, Diogo Ramos! And ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause, please, for Jacob Buckley.